Multiplication Year 3. Please ensure that you have viewed the Year 1 and Year 2 multiplication video clips first in order to understand how children will have progressed to this point. By the end of Year 3, children should know their 2, 5, 10, 3 and 4 times tables and begin to know the 6 times table. In Year 3, children begin to develop informal ways of calculating and recording for multiplication. For example, to do 17 times 5, the children use the method of partitioning and recombining. So, partitioning. They partition the 17 into 10 and 7 units. Firstly, multiplying the 10 by the 5, so multiplied by 5, which makes 50, and then multiplying the 7 by 5, which makes 35. So, the children partitioned the 17 into 10 and 7, multiply both by 5, and have got their answers. They need, now need to recombine those answers to get their final answer. So 50 add 35 equals 85. So 17 times 5 equals 85. That's the method of partitioning and recombining. To prepare children for year 4, they will be introduced to multiplying a single digit by 10 and 100. Okay. So, in order to multiply by 10 and 100, they need to be able to understand place value and how the digits move. So, for example, multiplying by 10, if we've got 8 multiplied by 10, that means we've got 8 units. When you multiply by 10, the 8 will move from the units to the 10s. So the 8s will become 8 tens, And then a 0 is placed in the units to show that there are no units. The 0 is a placeholder. When multiplying by 100, so for example 5 times 100, Okay, we begin with 5 units, we multiply by 100, the units become hundreds. So the 5 will move 1, 2 places into the hundreds column. And once again, uh, zeros are used as placeholders in the tens and the units column to show that there are no um, there, there is nothing in the tens or the units column. So 8 multiplied by 10, the 8 units became 8 tens, which gives an answer of 80. 5 multiplied by 100, when you multiply by 100, this, the units move into the hundreds column to give the answer of 500.